rolling, he said. That's awesome. <laughs> Can you tell us uh, where you're from and when you received uh, initiation from the I'm from New Haven, Connecticut, and I received initiation December 25th, 2008. Um, can you tell us uh, what your very first experience with meditation was like? What did you feel during meditation? Um, when I first started, there was movement right away. Um, and with time, I started, uh, well, I was eating meat at the time, and I also would, would drink every once in a while, have wine or anything like that. Um, but once I started the meditation, right away, I felt um, sick to my stomach during meditation, and I would feel like I wanted to throw up constantly. And it was really difficult, but it, in the end, what ended up happening was I was cleaning my system out of all the toxins and stuff that I was putting in my body. So my body was kind of rejecting it. But once I finished that process, I ended up uh, feeling like I didn't need to eat meat anymore and had no need for wine, so. So you're a complete vegetarian? Yes, yes. Um, are there any other experiences that you had like in your daily life that brought about a change in your perspective or um, that made you mentally free? Yes, um, I had a really uh, tumultuous relationship with my family and as a result I left home very young and kind of like turned my back on that because I couldn't function, I couldn't kind of deal with that on a day-to-day -day basis um, and it was kind of a negative both ways, like they also had a negativity towards me um, and then one day I went to go visit and this is, this happened so quickly um, and I recognized it very quickly because of the way it happened. Um, I ended up going back home to visit my sister. Uh, I'm pretty tight with my sister and my two brothers, so I would go to Virginia to visit them, and that's where the rest of the family was. And I decided to go with her to one of the functions that they were having um, and pretend that I was going to have a good time as long as I got to spend it with my sister and my brothers. Um, and when I got there, the first day I got there, um, my sister was like, let's go over there just to say hi so that they don't gossip about you. So we went over there and instead of gossiping, it was a complete change from the last time that I saw them. Now you have to remember that it was an ongoing thing in the relationship. It was negativity since age 16. I'm now age 35. So it was a long-term, heated, emotional thing that I felt was tying me down that I didn't know how to let go of. So once I started meditation, um, you know, I started off with the purging of things that didn't belong to me, that were holding my, I guess my energy frequency down at the lower level because it was all about, you know, like uh, wine is kind of like a toxic thing. They have to be fermented and that kind of stuff. So the first thing was the physical health and the change in that. Um, but the biggest was that pushed it over for me, that there was no doubt in my mind was when I did go visit. And I went to this family function, and each and every one of them, for the next two days, pulled me aside separately without informing the other person to apologize to me and explain to me why things happened that way, but not in a it's your fault kind of way, quite the opposite, which was just. So, did you find forgiveness in your heart? Absolutely, absolutely. Without, it, it was so um, empowering to know that. Um, I was being acknowledged, my emotions were being acknowledged. And before that, that would have never happened. Like I said, I was 16 when this started, I was 35 when this solution came. And it happened so quickly and so clearly that there was no mistake that it had to do with meditation and do with those healing. Um, and so I've continued it on. And most recently, I, um, I have an incredible friend who I've been friends with for a long time, for a few years. and. During meditation, I sometimes ask for burdens to be released, and one of them was financial burdens. I'm looking to prosper a little bit and get myself out of, not necessarily materialistic, but just not be weighed down by my finances. So that if I did want to come to see Guru Dev, there would be nothing in the way. Even though I figured out, I'm in India now, I figured out that I didn't even need to plan it, it just happened. Mm -hmm. I thought it, I, I asked him within myself, and here I am. And and I didn't have enough money to come here. And people came from all sides and were like, oh, you're going to India? I'm so excited. Here's some money. Here's some money. 
here's some money, here's some money. And I didn't even book my own trip. I didn't even book my own trip. So it was pretty intense. And this is where I needed to be. So did your friend, uh, friends help you book a ticket to India? Yes, absolutely. Everything. Everything. And you, you mentioned the friend earlier. How did he help you? Oh, my friend. He's incredible. Um, I, I, me and him had been talking extensively about little things here and little things there. Um, and he knew my financial situation. I've always had very low money. Um, but enough for me and my daughter. Um, but there was a huge, this huge bill that wouldn't allow me to, um, how do I say, build up my credit in a way that I, not necessarily that I would need a lot of money, but that I didn't have any doors closed for me mm -hmm. if I needed to do whatever it is that needed to be done. So I prayed to Guru Dev and I said, you know, uh, I'm asking you to open all doors to all possibilities, including love, peace, and financial situation. Um, and I put it in your hands. And then before I meditated, after I said that, I said, I ask you for these things, but I'm happy with whatever you give me. Mm -hmm. So I, there's no expectation. This was me asking, forgive me if it's uh, not something I should be asking for. I accept whatever you give me, and I'm fine with that. Um, I don't know, two months later, my friend says to me, out of nowhere, he's over, I cooked for him and my daughter, and then he's like, so what's your biggest financial issues right now? Um, and, he, and I said, well, my biggest thing is my college loan, $16,000, and I can't pay that. And if I pay that, I at least can stay level in terms of surviving and maintaining a household, you know, with a child. Um, and he said, well, what's that bill? And I told him the, the price of the bill. And he goes, OK, well, why don't you talk to the person you owe the money to and let me know who I need to call, and I'll pay it. And four days later, paid, he paid off your entire the entire bill. bill. The entire bill. And he said, let's not talk about this again. Because he, he didn't want me to feel like he owed me anything. He said, you don't owe me anything. This is 